What's up guys, they just dropped the new melee weapon, the Psy, and we're going to be getting it Dark Matter. Now, normally I do show you guys me unlocking the new weapons whenever they come out, which means I basically just buy the bundle to save me time so I can get these videos out. But I got a little excited and I used the last of my COD points on this, and this is actually a really nice looking bundle. Most of the time we get some random, like weird looking thing for the weapon that I just get so I don't have to go through like three hours of unlocking something. But these are actually kind of worth it. It also comes with this watch. Ooh, it's actually like a rolly. It has this assassination, which looks pretty brutal. You also have this. You can play some Dead Ops Arcade. That's pretty cool. Oh, he actually just throws it away. Okay, don't save your progress or nothing. And this emblem and calling card as along with two tier skips. But I'm gonna show you guys my first game with the size. Then we're gonna go ahead, level it all the way up, get it all the way to dark matter. And then I'll give you my opinion of the weapon afterwards. So let's check the camo suit we have to do. And it's looking like this might just be normal melee weapon camo stuff. Yeah, it is. So if you need a good melee class, this is the one I always use for every melee weapon. Tomahawks are sick. Smoke grenades help out a lot. Field mics are good to find people. Definitely don't need engineer, so I switch it to attack mask. Quartermaster helps out a lot. And ninja also helps. Well, that's enough talking. Let's go ahead and hop into Nuketown 12v12. I didn't even know this was in the game. And let's see what we can do with this. All right, let's take a look at the inspect here on the size. These look so nice. Ooh, and you do a little flip. Raphael action. These things look really nice. This is probably the nicest melee weapon bundle we've seen. Let's check the swing speed. Oh, these are fast. These are so fast. Gotta do the classic, throw the smokes out, get sniped. All right, now we can actually get into some action. Somebody's right on the other side of this. Oh, oh, these are a two hit. Good thing they're fast. I was not expecting a two hit with these. This might make them a little worse, but the speed on them is very, very generous. So we might be able to get away with it. Ooh, there we go. Stabbed him right in the eye. Who else wants some? No! I don't know what I'm doing. It's actually been so long since I've played multiplayer. I've been on that zombies grind and we're almost done with everything in there. And I will be getting these done in zombies, so don't freak out. And also with today's update, they did add the new outbreak survival mode. So I will be playing that as well later in the week. I can't get in. Maybe 12v12 was a mistake because there's way too many people watching angles now. Oh, come here. Come on. We're going to make it work. Never mind. Let's throw the smoke out. There we go. That's one. Come here. No, no. Oh, come on, dude. I'll get this guy, though. Let's go. If they're even slightly damaged at one hit. The two hit really isn't an issue because of the speed, but if they're even a little bit hurt, you can get the kill. Right there, that guy saved his ass. You can't really get away with getting a quick little stab in. Shotguns are beating it? Oh, okay. This is not looking good. There we go. Got our revenge on him. And we already got a camo for this. But this being a two-shot kill is bringing back some bad memories of the pre-buff E-Tool. That was one of the worst grinds, and it's not looking better here. Because you get that one hit, and my second swing completely missed. So you can get some damage off, but not enough. So usually with these melee weapons, you can get away with taking a little bit of damage because it's always a one-shot kill. These being two-shot hurt it like a lot but i'm i'm scared if they buff these these are gonna be like this game's cali sticks where it's just like a bop bop done you're dead these things are stupid fast if they get any sort of damage buff it's gonna be ridiculous but it feels like it needs something okay somebody's gonna be up here for sure yep easy oh come on so right now we're 13 and 16 nothing crazy this is nuketown 12v12 Ooh, get fucking tommied but man i'm kind of disappointed in these already Okay, they're for sure right here. No. Okay, this might be the worst melee weapon in the game. Because at least the other slower ones, if you get a hit off, they're dead. And this, if you get a hit, you can get aim punched, pushed back, and not be able to get that second one in. Oh, come on. I've never gotten this many assists with a melee weapon. So far, uh, I think I've, I've kind of changed my mind on these. I mean, this is my first game, so I'm going to go through a roller coaster of emotions with them. You know, by the time I played a few with them, I'll have a better understanding of them. But right now, I think I'd rather use the sledgehammer. At the end of the day, at least these things look cool. Come here. I'm waiting in here. Please don't kill me. Oh, come on. I'm starting to think maybe I should run like Semtexes with this. Because if somebody has flak jacket, they'll get hurt a little bit. And then I can get the kill on them. I don't know. I'm just trying to figure out a strat with these. Because something's not right. No! I really just got Sigma. Sigma D's. What? Are you kidding? Did, he, did I just get it collated? That's it. I'm going sicko mode with these. I dare somebody to come attack me. I dare them. There we go. Oh, no. I got outside. 
Oh, come on. Too many assists with this thing. It is ridiculous. Come here. Oh, wait. Are kills from behind one-shot kills with this? I want to test that. If I can actually get behind somebody. Oh, it looks like they are. Okay. That changes the game. If you're behind somebody, it's a one-shot kill. Okay. I should not be going back and forth with other people with melee weapons. That was kind of scary. All right. So we went 29 and 33. Honestly, not that great, but also not terrible. Basically even. And we found out there at the end that kills from behind might be one shots. That's not 100% confirmed. It might've been just two coincidences back to back. I'll let you guys know when we get into our final game with these. But as for right now, I'm gonna go ahead and stream me grinding this all the way to dark matter. If you wanna see me stream this, go ahead and turn on notifications for YouTube. I will be streaming it here. If you wanna see see the grind i'll have the link to it down in the description but i'll see you guys when we get dark matter All right, as you saw from that last clip, we did end up getting the size dark matter. Now, overall opinion of them, they fucking suck. I don't know whose idea it was to put in another two hit melee weapon into the game, but these are not good. But the weapon looks really cool. The inspect on it's really cool. The whole design of it's like amazing, 10 out of 10. The actual gameplay using these things, I give it a four out of 10. Cause there is some cool mechanics you can use while using the weapon in air. It has a little like lunge. You can kind of Superman jump. Also thank you to NH for giving me that little tip. And I've also seen people use these to skip the first door on Firebase using that same technique. So that part of it's cool. The new movement options are cool. But the melee weapon just is awful. The amount of times I've gotten assists with this thing, you should not be getting assists with this. You should not be getting hit markers with a melee weapon. It is just awful. But anyways, here's what the mastery camos look like on it. I actually had to go into Warzone to fully unlock this, but I'll talk about that in a second here. But this is what gold looks like on it. Very nice. The whole thing is gold. Just the wrap is that matte black. Diamond looks really really good it's all iced out and then the handle is all gold it's very clean diamond always has amazing coverage in this game and dark matter also looks pretty good but as i was saying i normally get these weapons by purchasing the blueprint just so i don't have to go through and unlock them and i can get content out as fast as i can but if you go here and you look at the blueprint nothing changes when you put on gold or dark matter i mean the the wrap becomes that matte black that secondary color to dark matter but it does it you know you can't even tell it's dark matter the camo though this blueprint is amazing and also it looks the same with diamond on it with blueprint or not but for the sake of the video i'm putting dark matter on it and let's go ahead and hop in game all right these are what the size look like in game with dark matter very very nice they look even better in game than they do in the gunsmith and i can't get over how nice this animation is first you get a good look at both of them you flip them around hold them like you're you're Raphael, and you flip them back out it's it's just sick but the superman jump thing i was talking about that nh showed me while we were streaming you can jump up and swing at the same time and you actually go a further distance than you would normally so that's a cool maneuver if you add that into like slide canceling you can get around the map pretty fast also, we have confirmed that it is a one-hit kill to the back. So if you can flank behind people, it's viable. But when you're face-to-face -face with somebody, the two-shot thing is just, it's got to go. It really has to go. We'll get Tommy. Anybody upstairs? Oh, there is. And he has a shotgun. Well, I mean, I always have fun grinding melee weapons. This one was just a little more frustrating than uh, weapons normally are. 
Ooh, let's go. Let's get this assassination too. Tomahawk to the nuts. This guy wants a tomahawk. Never mind, he already died. This guy also wanted one, but he died before he could get it. This guy in here wants some, and he's also dead. Jeez, everybody's dying before I can get to him. And the biggest, most annoying thing about this weapon to me is if you go against somebody who's also using a melee weapon, you will lose 100% of the time if they can actually, like, hit you. Because every other melee weapon in the game is a one-shot. You can hit them once, you can stab them in the eye with this, and they will walk it off. Any weapon will out-TTK you. There's no flinch with these. Like, people thought they are going to be a lot like the Kali sticks. And they are similar in speed. But when you hit somebody, they don't flinch at all. There's no aim punch, nothing. They just take a little bit of damage. They can back up for a second and easily take you out. So these are probably one of the coolest melee weapons in the game that are just awful. They suck. Oh, a walking cane. Something that is not designed to hurt people does more damage than this. Like, it's, it's absolutely criminal what they have done to these weapons. So hopefully, within like a week or so, we, this gets the same treatment as the e-tool and it gets buffed and if it does be on the lookout because this thing's gonna be insane i haven't seen what they're like in zombies yet hopefully they'll be way better you know zombies aren't real people so it's gonna be a lot easier to get those challenges done and i've heard they're really good while pack-a-punched so i'm excited for that that video will be up uh tomorrow the day after i post this and if you want to unlock these it is a lot easier to get them done in warzone like literally just hop into a game go to all those antennas but i was having an issue where my very last antenna was not rewarding me for like sitting there or being there or whatever. So I had to completely restart my game. A little frustrating, but I got it done within like a half hour, basically. You can probably do it way faster than I did. Cause I was also just sitting there, you know, hanging out with chat and all that. But yeah, I mean, I've had a few good games with this. I had some very nice clips. Like after a while, you kind of get used to it and you know what to look out for, or you know, what's gonna mess you up. So it's a little bit easier to make some plays with. Holy shit. Speaking of making plays, we just went on a spree there. Well, on this, put on this armor. Please push me, I dare you. Let's go, we're on a seven. I'm gonna throw the smoke out. Oh, we almost snuck through. But I had some really, really nice games where I actually like doubled my, my KD in them. Like I went like 60 and 30 or something like that. So if you wanna see the full gameplay of me grinding, I'll have a link to the stream in the description, but it'll also be up on the channel. I think I'll still keep it public because we did go kind of dirty nasty with these at some points. And if you want to see me just bitch about them the whole time, that's there as well. But I, after playing the face-off 6v6 for a bit, uh, we went over to like Zoo because we thought we were going to try to unlock it, you know, through the actual Cold War challenges. But then we decided, you know what? Let's just do Nuketown 12v12. Like in our, in our first game, I didn't think it was going to be you know, that great playing on Nuketown with these, especially with 12 people holding all these like long shot angles. But it turned out to work out pretty okay. We got everything done pretty fast. I think the hardest challenge was the sliding because normally sliding is already something I struggle with while using melee weapons. So we had that on top of this being a two shot kill while sliding is very difficult to do. Uh, a lot of the time you just have to slide at their back if you had the opportunity or just hope that they're already injured because this thing does like 75% damage, maybe like 65, something like that. So if they're they're slightly hurt, you can get away with it. You can get away with a one shot. If not, you just have to be like on your shit. We're actually not even doing too bad right now. I mean, I'm, I'm giving these a lot of shit. They're still pretty fun to use. It's like a gimmick weapon almost. I wonder what the movement speed is with this. Like I saw Lego do a video a while back where in zombies, like after using Aether Shroud, your, your speed is up. With stamina up, your speed is up. After you revive somebody with Quick Revive Tier 5, your speed goes up. I wonder what would happen if you did all those, you jumped up and did the, the Superman jump. I wonder how fast you would go. You'd probably break the land speed record for mammals. Yeah, I, I, I've been giving these weapons a lot of shit, but they're, they're really cool. If you get used to them, they're fun. But the grind is just so frustrating that, you know, if you're if you're not a melee weapon connoisseur or completionist when it comes to camos, I would not recommend this at all. Definitely do any melee weapon over this. And even at one point, it was so bad, we thought about even just switching off of Tomahawks to Molotovs just so we can one-shot people. But it looks like that guy was already hurt by a Molotov and we didn't even one-shot him. So you live and you learn. This guy gets tomahawked in a window. Also, that is the best place to get assassinations because almost every Nuketown game, somebody is just going to sit up there in the window and you get a free assassination without getting killed like I just did. So if you can move around fast, you can flank fast. Assassinations come pretty easily. But man, the movement on this is a lot of fun. Okay, we went 34 and 22. Honestly, not bad. 
way better than I thought I was going to do. But I'm going to have to end the video there. If you guys like this and you want to see more, go ahead and leave a like on it. If you didn't, you don't dislike. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. Put out all kinds of COD content throughout the week. And that's going to be it for me today. I'll see you guys next time. Later.